Today's mission, 25 comic books, 25 bags and boards. I'm going to be bagging and boarding each and every single one of these comics with you guys on camera. Let's do it, it's geeking time. Hey guys, how you all doing out there? So, today's gonna be quite the fun one. I recently got a package from my really good friend, Spoonie Bart, and he sent me, well, he sent me 20 or 20, about 24 comic books. And today I'm going to be bagging and boarding all those comics. There's only one in here that is one of mine, which when I did pick this one up, it was not bagged and boarded. So I've always felt like, you know what? I should probably bag and board that one. Normally I do get bags and boards from my comic book shop, but I was, I wanted to, like, I have a whole stack to bag and board like take a look this is the big stack i have to bag and board today and so instead of like going to the shop and asking just for like hey can can i have 25 bags and boards because i'm not gonna do that right that's it's not cool i went on amazon and i ordered a pack of 25 sleeves and 25 boards this is from a brand called big fudge i'm not exactly sure what brand this is and if it's good or not um Comic book, comic book uh, collectors out there, if you've tried this brand, if it's good, if you like it, let me know down below. It's gonna be my first time trying this one. We're gonna do this together on camera, one by one, and I'm not sure if these are resealable. No, I need tape. So good thing I got my scotch tape with me and, and I got myself some black gloves so I can handle the comic books with care and put them in properly. If you're wondering why there's a bandage on my arm, I went and got a blood test. That's why it's still in there. I'm just a little, I don't like pain. So I'm biding my time to take this, this bandage off. Let's just go straight into this. Let me get the, well, actually, you know what? No, I'm not gonna put the gloves on just yet. I think first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up, let's open up this package here and get the bags out. And then, there we go. So let's put that to the side. Oh, I don't want everything to slide around on me that there so this is what one of the bags look like if you can see properly it's really okay it's cool got that dent so yeah it's not resealable you need the tape so good thing like I said that I brought my scotch tape with me and then we've got the boards I don't normally bag and board comic books because when I go to my uh, my LCS they're usually pre bagged and boarded so that's always really cool on their part but you know, when I do need to bag and board comics, I'll bag and board them. So it's just a stack of boards like that. And don't worry, I'll show you each comic book as I'm bagging and boarding them. I need to make way so that I can have easy access to bag. So that being said, bear with me guys for just a couple of moments. So I have a little spread going as you can see up in the corner there. The first comic we're gonna start with is Transformers vs. G.I. Joe Free Comic Book Day, which Spoonie sent me. So. Cool book. That's gonna be the first one we're gonna bag and board. So let's get the board in the bag. I guess that's the first time I'm using this board. Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, I like that. The bag itself is actually pretty thick, so that's really nice. There we go. So there's the first bag and boarded comic. I know that they said that with this you can put the sleeves inside, but I am old school. I like to tape them on the back like that. So there's our first bagged and boarded comic book. So coming up next. So the next comic we're bagging and boarding is going to be the free comic book day 2014 Mighty Morphin Power Rangers by Paper Cuts. Let's go ahead and slide that in there. There we go. You know, it's sometimes it's, it's your discretion. You could put one piece or you could put two pieces. I like to put two pieces of tape. I find it keeps it down better so and actually these bags and boards look really nice i'm not gonna lie i like these a lot so there you go power rangers by paper cuts in there following on so now we're gonna go with the run this is all a set right here and these are all the hellblazer comics that he sent me let's dig right in to bagging and boarding the hellblazer comics so starting off with issue number 223, look at that. Look how nice that looks, bagged and boarded. There we go. 
Oh, and there's our Constantine issue. That looks really nice. Very nice. Let me know down below, guys, what it is that you're collecting, what you're reading. So there's the next Hellblazer comic. Like, I, I've been reading a lot of Ninja Turtles recently. I've, um, I don't know, since last year or maybe just a little bit before last year, I have had myself a resurgence of getting back into the Ninja Turtles. So I find myself collecting a lot more Ninja Turtles and I find myself uh, reading a lot more Ninja Turtles comics. And if you haven't, go ahead and read the last Ronin comic book. The Last Ronin, or if you can't find the comic book, get yourself the um, the graphic novel of The Last Ronin. That is such a great story. Uh, honestly, I picked it up and I could not put it down. I think I read it from beginning to end in two days. Two days. So, yeah. I mean, most of the time when it comes to reading graphic novels, it takes me a little longer than two days to read. But The Last Ronin, I just could not put that down, and I don't want to spoil anything, but guys, if you, if you can get your hands on reading The Last Ronin, if you haven't already, and you're, you're Ninja Turtles fans, go for it. So there's Constantine, sorry, Hellblazer, number 225. So we're still moving on to Constantine books. That's another one that I uh, absolutely adore this character very much. Uh, I'm all about... Uh, John Constantine and, and Hunt Swamp Thing. I love those two characters. And I, I find that... I know you guys are probably going to say, no, that's not true at all, but I find that they are both criminally criminally underrated characters. I kind of feel like the um, Hellblazer, the Constantine TV show from the NBC and then Swamp Thing were cancelled way too early. I, those shows sort of, sort of survived. There's another Hellblazer issue. This is number 226. We're almost there, guys, when it comes to finishing up the Hellblazer comics. There we go, that's issue number 227. And again, these big fudge bag and boards are really nice, very sleek. I like these a lot. I would definitely order these again. My goodness. And now we're on to the last Constantine book. Uh, but I know that they brought Constantine onto Legends of Tomorrow. And they had him on there for a couple of seasons. Did you guys, if you guys are Constantine fans or Swamp Thing fans, how did you feel? Did you watch the shows? Did you like Constantine from NBC? I know that was like maybe 10 years ago now. What about Swamp Thing? And do you agree with me? Did you think that those were canceled way too soon? Because I kind of feel like, I don't know, had Swamp Thing kept going, we could have had that crossover between Swamp Thing and John Constantine. That would have been awesome to see. I mean, John Constantine was on Legends of Tomorrow. They could have had John. They could have had Swamp Thing come on to Legends of Tomorrow. You know, I never watched that show, but I do want to take a look at it for the John Constantine episodes. Uh, and so there's the final Hellblazer number two twenty eight. So again, they look really nice in these bags and boards. So we're moving on to another run, and this is all Spawn comics. So I'm gonna bag and board these. After that, it's just a bunch of individual books. So this is the Spawn Endgame one. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. Bags and boards going rogue. So like I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted, this is from Spawn Endgame. And for those of you who've been following my channel for years, know that Spawn is my bread and butter. I'm a big fan of this character. Um, when it comes to superheroes, Spawn and Spider-Man are probably my two favorite, like when it comes to the superhero genre. So there you go, there's Spawn Endgame Part 1, Issue Number 185 of Spawn. Again, looking really good in the bag and board. These are not your, like I said, these are not the Mylar resealable bag and boards, but these are very thick. Like, look at, I don't know if you can see that, but these are very thick cardstock um, boards. Like, very thick boards, basically. And the bags themselves, too, are very thick. I believe they're acid-free as well, so that's a very, a very nice touch. There we go, the next one in there. Talking about shows, Spawn from 1997, HBO, the cartoon. That is, to me, one of the greatest animated cartoons, like, based on a comic book ever. I, I know, a lot of people think X-Men, X-Men, Batman. Yeah, but come on, Spawn was for the adults. Like, that was such a great show. There you go, looks really good in the back of the board. But I mean, I guess, I guess, I guess without X-Men... 
the animated series, without Batman the animated series, I guess you wouldn't have the Spawn animated series. Did you know there was a Savage Dragon animated series that was short-lived? Yeah, there was also a Wildcats TV series, and Wildcats... Wildcats was a great comic book. Um, I love Rifter. He's also a great underrated comic book character, I find. He's, I think, now part of the main DC universe. Um, but Wildcats, you can find the whole entire series of Wildcats on YouTube. Uh, if you check out... Um, oh, I, I think it's called Retro... Retro Run or something like that. But if you search the, the Wildcats Complete Series, you can find that on, on, on YouTube. So there is Spawn issue number 187, looking really good. You guys like, you're probably thinking to yourself, what do you do when we just search for these old cartoons? Yes, yeah, sometimes I do. I go on Internet Archive too, and I find a whole bunch of old cartoons. I recently found Darkwing Duck. I found Goof Troop. I found... What else did I find? Tiny Toons Adventures. Man, I found Gargoyles. One of the greatest cartoons of all time, Gargoyles. Uh, Thundercats, Aladdin, the animated series, which is underrated and doesn't get very much love these days. Aladdin, the animated series I found on Internet Archive, but not just that, even on YouTube, you can find things like the Dungeons and Dragons cartoon, the Tick, the animated series, you know, things like that. It's worth searching for. The short-lived Swamp Thing cartoon is on there too. 188 of Spawn, looking nice in the bag and board. So yeah, it's, it's worth it sometimes to search for those um, random cartoons online because you never know what you're going to find. I've been watching, and this is not comic book related, but I've been watching Dinosaurs. I don't know if you guys remember Dinosaurs, the cart uh, the, not the cartoon, the, the TV show Dinosaurs from the 90s, which was, I think, part of ABC's TGIF. It was just basically a show about, it was a sitcom about dinosaurs. And it had your basic, you know, sitcom tropes about a family. But again, they were dinosaurs from the prehistoric age. Uh, and I found that on Internet Archive, and man, I've been re-watching that show. It's so good. Uh, there's Spawn Endgame, number one, and that's issue number 189 of Spawn. Very nice. Uh, no, that's not a Capullo cover. That's a... That's not a Capullo cover, but still very nice. Down to the last two Spawns to bag and board, and after this I'm going to work. Hey, here's a quick nod, speaking of Spawn. There's the Spawn convention coming up in October in Denver, Colorado. If you are fans of Spawn, go check that out. That's going to be a lot of fun. I won't be able to attend. Uh, however, however, I'm fairly certain it's going to be a great convention. And I'm fairly certain that it's going to be a lot of fun. I'll just I'll link the stuff down below to that. So there is issue number 190 of Spawn Endgame. That's a Capullo cover. That looks really nice. Did I seal that properly? Yeah, I sealed that properly. So there we go. And now on to the last Spawn Endgame issue. It's not the last Spawn comic in this pile, but it's the last Spawn Endgame. But yeah, Spawn Con's going to be... I think that's going to be a lot of fun. They're going to have a lot of uh, artists, a lot of people there that have to do with that, have contributed to Spawn over the years as well. That's a lot of fun. Uh, go say hi to Spawn Hunter. He's organizing it, and I will tag him as well down in the comments so that you can check him out and speaking of october there's also going to be october's version of free comic book day which is halloween comic fest so if you guys are if you guys want more free comics a lot of times it's like basically halloween based comics but they're going to be free so it's like a mini free comic day but for halloween so there we go, Spawn issue 191, the finale of Endgame. Looking really beautiful so far in these big fudge bags and boards. All right, we, we, we're out of the run. We're out of the run. But now we're going to some, I would say some retro stuff and two actual legitimate comic book characters. So I'm getting the bag and board ready. IDW issue number zero of G.I. Joe. Looking spectacular in that bag and board. Very nice. Put this guy off to the side there. Realizing I got a bunch of Image Comics books here, so. All right. These are so sleek. I like these a lot. Let me know so far down below in the comments what you guys are thinking of these bags and boards that I'm using. G.I. Joe number three. So this is a set that I'm trying to actually go after and collect. I am trying to get, there's a specific issue from G.I. Joe. I think it's issue number six. 
67 from the Marvel Comics run, which is a Todd McFarlane issue. I don't think he did the cover, but he did the interior artwork. And man, I've always been trying to get my hands on that book, but and then we have G.I. Joe from Image Comics number one, the second print. Beautiful cover with snake eyes. That looks really good too. Don't worry guys, we still have some comics left, but not as much as you guys think. I think we got the, the brunt of the comics out of the way. So we got two image, no, we got three image comics left. So that's pretty cool. This one's a thicky. This is a big old thicky, this one right here. So this is, this is, this is not from Spoonie. This is from my own collection. Uh, this is Invincible issue number 100. Well, I've been wanting to bag and board that for a while. When I picked it up, it was out of the bag and board and I just never got around to bag and board it, which is really weird. So there you go. It looks really nice inside that bag and board right there. I think we're actually down near, I think we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven left. So guys, we are very close to being done this bagging and boarding journey. And then you can go back to doing what you were doing. And I don't even know why you clicked on this video in the first place. I don't know why I decided I'm going to bag and board comics for you guys today. Uh, uh, the things that I do for content, eh? The things I do for content. No, that's, that's not true. Guys, you know that I do a lot of collecting and I do a lot of reviews and unboxings. So clearly you guys know that comic books are a big part of my channel. And if I'm bagging and boarding comics and I have to bag and board a lot of them, I just thought to myself, that'd be a really cool project to do on my channel to share with you guys. Okay, so we've got, and I, and I know that's Mike Spider Slayer from Combo Corner 2.0, but it's not this cover. It's issue number nine of Spawn that he's multiples of, but I guess for the character, this is Curse of the Spawn, number issue number 11 with Angela on the cover. This is a this is a series two curse of the spawn that I've been trying to um, trying to get a whole bunch of them too to get for my collection. So it's not something I come by too often. We got the final image image comics book. Apparently I can't speak properly, guys. I'm going to work. I didn't sleep very well last night. I'm running on fumes. I'm going to have some coffee. And the last image comics book. Wow, this one looks really nice, bag and boarded. This is it. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number four from Image Comics. That's a great cover. I love that a lot. But this is a run that I'd love to get my hands on, the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So, yeah, looks really good bag and boarded. We finally have some Slave Labor Graphics comics. And these, I was told that these are really hard to come by books. We've got from Slave Labor Graphics, Tron issue number three. That looks really good. Are you guys fans of Tron? Uh, <laughs> I love Tron. I have a... I have a video on my channel called an impromptu Tron video where I show off my Tron collection. Well, now this is going to be part of my Tron collection as well. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Am I missing a bag and board guys? Wait, I thought there was 25. It said 25. So we got Tron as issue number two from Slave Labor Graphics. So there you go. So we got Tron issue number one from Slave Labor Graphics. So that's cool. Love that a lot. I'm gonna use my wife's bag and board. She get she said that she had an extra bag and board, so that's what she gave me. There we go. Through the bag and board that my wife gave me, we've got Gargoyles, issue number two from Slave Labor Graphics. Beautiful looking book. Very nicely bagged and board. That bag and board there that I put that one in is more to like what my, my comic book shop gives me. And apparently I looked this one up online and this one goes for quite a pretty penny now. We've got from Slave, La Slave Labor Graphics, Gargoyles, issue number one. How beautiful does that look? This is one of those books that I think I'm gonna put a frame and hang up on the wall. That looks just so good. And I'd love to get the Gargoyles issue number one from Marvel Comics. I'd love, I'd love to get that run as well. So 26 comic books bagged and boarded all in this one journey together to put these comic books in these bags and boards. And man, you saw how how smaller it looked before the stack. Look how bigger it looks now, the stack that they're bagged and boarded. They look great, and I'm super happy to have them all bagged and boarded. 
proper and I'm gonna get myself another long box because now my other long box that I got before moving out of the other place is completely full. So I'm running out of space to put comic books, so I need to get a new long box now. This can be perfect to put these guys in the brand new long box. All right, guys. All right. Have you used these bag and boards before from Amazon? Have you ordered bags and boards from Amazon before? Um, do you typically buy your comic books bagged and boarded or, or do they come unbagged and boarded and you guys got to do it yourself? And if so, like I said, like I asked, what is your preference? Do you get them from your comic book shop? Or do you get them online? Like, I don't usually get bags and boards online, but I figured I had so many of them and I needed to bag and board. And I think, like I said, the quality looks pretty dang good, if I do say so myself. It looks, it's pretty thick, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this is really solid and it's really gonna protect the book properly. Like, especially, like I said, on the Gargoyles book, like it's really gonna keep that sealed in nicely and protect that. These are some heavy, thick old bags and boards. Like I said, for an investment, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty satisfied with this. What are you guys reading? What comic books are you collecting? Let's talk comic books down below. Please and thank you. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell. I will be back again soon with some more videos. Don't worry, guys. I got some more comic book videos coming. I got some more figure reviews coming and stuff like that. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Thank you so much for being a part of my channel. I appreciate each and every single one of you guys out there. Thank you so much for, for, for being on this journey with me. Stay cool, stay nerdy, keep hunting, keep collecting. And as always, guys, it's cool if it's nerd cool. Laters!